Hello, my name's Diane and I'm a Chaz volunteer and I hear that you like stories. So I'm going to read you one. I hope you enjoy it. I thought it would be nice to maybe read a story outside on such a lovely day. And I know a lot of you have been saying how you are missing your friends. So I've brought along little Joffley and big Joffley Bear to listen to a story about friendship. And the story is called Sharing a Shell. And it's by Julia Donaldson. Look, a crab, a crab with no shell, running along by the sea. Tap, tap, tap. You can't come in, you can't share a shell with me. Or me, or me, or me. Oh, that's not being a good friend, is it? Look, a gull with a wide open beak. Run for your life, crab, hide. At last in a pool, an empty shell. Quick, crab, scuttle inside. One crab safe in his shell. Under the summer sun, roaming all over the rock pool. In his wonderful home for one. Look, a blob. A bright purple blob. What can this blob thing be? Go away blob, whoever you are. You can't share a shell with me. Oh, that's not being a good friend either. I'm an anemone, an not a blob. Please let me share your shell. Give me a ride to look for some food. And perhaps I can help you as well. Because that's what friends do. We help one another. Look, a fish with jaws open wide. <gasps> Fresh crab for dinner. Mmm, here goes. Out shoots a tentacle. Quick as a flash. Sitting, stinging the fish on the nose. <gasps> oh dear. He's helped his friend, but he's hurt the fish. Hmm, is that being a good friend? Two friends sharing a shell under a sky of blue. Romping all over the rock pool in their wonderful home for two. Look, a brush thing trying to get in, wriggling and making a fuss. Hmm. Go away brush, whoever you are. You can't share a shell with us. Hmm. Again, is that being a good friend? I'm not a brush, I'm a bristle worm. Please let me in, don't be mean. I love doing housework. I'll suck up the scraps and keep the shell lovely and clean. So that's being helpful and being a good friend. Three friends sharing a shell down by the sparkling sea, rollicking around the rock pool in their wonderful home for three. They're sharing. But look how they've grown. The shell is too small. You're getting too heavy, says Crab. I'm fed up with being your taxi. It's time that you found a new cab. Really, says Blob. How ungrateful. Here I am, slaving away, scaring off all the fierce fishes. If that's how you feel, I won't stay. Mm, I think he's feeling... Peace, cries Brush, but nobody hears. The other two creatures split up. Blob finds an empty ice cream tub and Crab finds a nice paper cup. Crab in the cup, 
blob on the tub. Each one pretends to be glad. Brush doing both lots of housework knows they are really lonely and sad. I think I would be sad if I wasn't with my friends. Look, a storm, a terrible storm. Crashing and flashing all night. Two homes smashed on the rocks. Oh, what a terrible sight. Oh dear. Lots and lots of sad faces. But look, a shell, a beautiful shell. Crab and an enemy stare. Too shy to speak to each other, but too proud to say, shall we share? Listen, a voice and out pokes a head from the whelk shell washed up by the foam. It's ready, I've done all the housework. Climb on and come in. Welcome home. Oh, he's being a really kind friend. Three friends sharing a shell. Happy as housemates can be. Rocketing all around the rock pool in their wonderful home for three. And that is the end of the story. Thank you for listening. I think that was a wonderful story about being friends. I hope you enjoyed the story. I look forward to sharing another story with you soon. Bye for now.